The explosion was just after 1.30, as Friday prayers were starting at a Shiite mosque in the northern Afghan city of Kunduz. A suicide bomber blew himself up, and the dead are still being counted. It was around 1.40 in the afternoon. All the Muslims had gathered in the mosque for Friday prayers, and then I heard the explosion. I was nearby, and what I saw was just like the end of the world. Islamic State has carried out a number of attacks across the country since the Taliban retook control, and in particular, they have targeted mosques. People of Afghanistan who are already, you know, suffering catastrophe by uh, poverty, by oppression, now facing a new um, uh, wave of um, explosions and uh, losing their loved ones. Islamic State is attracting fighters to Afghanistan from elsewhere in the world. They are growing larger and bolder. It is a real challenge to the new Taliban government. If they can't keep the people safe, they will quickly lose support. This would be the first time Islamic State has launched an attack in the north of the country. Their stronghold is in eastern Afghanistan. The power struggle following the NATO withdrawal is still playing out. And Afghans are again caught in the middle. Alistair Bunkle, Sky News.